Yeah, I'm Michael Cauley. First name is M I C H A E L. Last name is Cauley, C A U L E Y. I actually prefer to go by my last name. Okay, so just call you Cauley? Yep. Okay. Um, so you've been a neighbor here for about three years. You were photographed carrying a gun. Uh, what were you doing now? Yeah, so um, it's called what I call a patriot walk. You know, and uh, I like to express my, my rights and freedoms as, a, as an American and as a veteran. You know, and um, I served my country in the, the United States Army, active duty, deployed uh, to Iraq, Iraq once. Um, and, you know, and, uh, muscles and freedoms are similar. You know, in this country, if we don't uh, exercise our rights and freedoms, we're going to lose them. You know, we're seeing it every day with uh, the nonsense with the presidential debate and the divide and everything. And it's really, it's really just sad. So a patriot walk, is this something that a lot of people do? Um, yeah, no, I, you know, I don't know if I'm the one to say that I coined it. I just thought of it uh, recently. But, you know, and, um, I have seen other videos and YouTube channels that I don't do YouTube, mm -hmm. but uh, where, you know, other gentlemen do similar activities and, you know, exercise their rights. And so it's, it's nothing new. Mm -hmm. um, the, the issue with this community, though, is we have a lot more internal issues than just me. Unfortunately, this, this community is in a very bad shape uh, uh, financially as an HOA, and uh, we're in a gray area with these blue signs. Mm -hmm. um, because, you know, these blue signs mean that the West Valley City Police Department can't enforce traffic laws. Mm, okay. And, I mean, I guess your criticism that you've gotten from neighbors, what's your response to that? Uh, you know, uh, same response I had this morning. You know, my intent wasn't to scare anybody or any of the kids. You know, I was walking. You know, one thing that wasn't reported during my walk, when I was walking right down that street, um, there was a, a boy that came up to me. His name's Ramsey. He always talks to me when I'm out walking. And he asked me to ask if I could carry the American flag. I said, absolutely. You know, the demeanor and everything was there. You know, and I, there was no ill will. I, was, I had a smile on. You know, it, you don't really get that with somebody, you know, trying to uh, pose a threat. You know, I'm carrying an American flag. You know, and the, the, my neighbors know I'm a veteran. You know, th this goes well beyond just this incident. And this was one time that I miscalculated and I walked, through, uh, I walked, I walked the wrong way. Uh, once again, I apologize to any, any homeowner that sees this. Not my intent, but um, how, do we, how do we come together? Because you know the board, of, the board of Sunset Hills has not reached out to me, not once. Uh, they continue to, to uh, not uh, take care of the, the requests I've made on the issues in this community. But you know we're getting somewhere. I had a, another gentleman, uh, phase three that side. Uh, he reached out to me yesterday. He actually came over to my house tonight, and we had a, an amazing, amazing dialogue. And because he wants to help us, you know, find common ground, and so he's going to try to mediate that. And ho hopefully we'll see that. But, like, once again, I'm, I have no, no ill will or ill intent, miscalculation. Um, I, I talked to some parents over the last two days even at, in front of my house, and we came to an understanding. You know, I even took donuts to a couple okay. houses. So when you say miscalculation, you mean, like, walking by the school bus Yeah, stop. you know, you didn't I didn't like, think that that was going to be an issue, to be honest with you. Yeah. Did not think it was going to be an issue. Mm -hmm. um, sorry, it won't happen again. Mm -hmm. But once again, you know, um, I think there's just bigger issues that we need to address. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and if, if there's people in this neighborhood that can't come together to the table and break bread, mm -hmm. how, do we, how are we a community at this point? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not, not above reproach. Mm -hmm. I want to talk to you. Yeah. You know where I'm at. Let, let's, let's have a meeting. Anything else you want to add? I feel like you summarized everything. Um, no, I, you know, uh, honestly, I want to, you know, thank uh, uh, Channel 2 News and also all the news crews that have been out here. You guys have been uh, well respected and, you know, really painting both sides, you know, not, not just one side. And I really like that. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, thank you for coming up and talking to us because I got a phone number I thought was yours. <laughs> and so I was like, oh, I don't know how to reach him. So I appreciate you. Yeah, likewise. And um, I, I was extending the same courtesy I did with Fox 13. Mm -hmm. I do have a lot of video footage that I am going through and editing because I do record mm -hmm. every time I go on these walks uh, because it's it's honestly for my safety. Mm -hmm. you know, it shouldn't be that way, mm -hmm. you know, and, and uh, I'm more than happy to share that with you okay. if you want that. Yeah. I did do a, a, a lot of people don't know, we can do a freedom, uh, part of the Freedom Information Act mm -hmm. is we can request body cam footage as civilians. Mm -hmm. Like I have requested the four hours of body cam footage from two days ago. Okay. And because like, I want to see what was said. Mm -hmm. Like if if we're if we're dividing, what's the point? Yeah. Like let's come together. We're police. 
pretty um, understanding of the oh, incident? Absolutely. I have a great conversation with the police every time. Um, and, and just so you know, this isn't the first incident. They, they, they've seen me outside. Mm -hmm. My corner, my, so this is my house right here. Oh, okay. On the oh, corner. I see it, yeah. Okay. There's the, the four-way stop has been put in. Mm -hmm. I have video after video of people going 50 miles per hour down these streets. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. And guess what the police have told me? They have no jurisdiction because this is private property. Oh, yeah. So, so let me ask you and ask the people that are upset with my actions, mm -hmm. what's more dangerous? Me walking around the neighborhood, express my rights, or people going 50 plus miles per hour consistently daily and running these stop signs? Mm -hmm. You don't see me going out joyriding like that just because I can, because guess what? Legally, I can. Mm -hmm. And so we're in a very great area in this community and you know, um, we actually had a pa, uh, Lubeck, this guy, Anthony Lubeck out here a couple weeks ago. I talked to him about it. He thinks this is crazy that these pockets of HOAs have these, these private like rules and like, at what point can the police do something? Mm -hmm. Okay. Makes sense. So there's, there's a lot, it sounds like. A lot to unpack, yeah. a lot to unpack. But you know, at, at the end of the day, you know, I've been outed from this community. I've been kicked off the, the community Facebook pages. I've been told uh, that nobody wants me in this community to get the F out. And you know, that, that's really sad that you know, we have this demeanor in this country. Yeah. I've, I've had people, yeah, you know, I had people saying, put down those guns and fight me like a man. That's not being a man. Mm -hmm. You know, and let's, let's come to a table and talk. Yeah. That's, what, that's what men do. Mm -hmm. And that's what you want. That's what I want, absolutely. You know, and I wouldn't be over here willingly talking to you guys if, if I didn't see a clear path that we can have some unity in this, in this uh, place. Oh, yeah. One thing I did not mention, um, because this happened after I talked to Fox this morning, uh, I took it upon myself because I had some neighbors share uh, some screenshots of what was being said on the local Facebook page. Uh, I did call Diamond Ridge Elementary and asked to speak to the principal. I can't remember the doctor's name. Uh, we had a great conversation. I think it was like 20 minutes. I can take you for my service. I let I reassured him it was a miscalculation on my part. I will not be an issue anymore. It was not my intent at all. And and we had a really good conversation. Good. These these are how we, we move forward. Mm -hmm. It doesn't need to be a long drawn out thing, but at the end of the day, if one side is decisive and one side is not, how do we find common ground? Mm -hmm. You know, and we're seeing that with this this presidential debate. And, you know, obviously, you know what, what side I'm swinging.